Millie's Wild Animals. Hello. I am going to tell you some unusual facts about the wild animals in this book. Are you ready to begin? Great. Let's get going. A snow leopard's fur is incredibly thick, up to 12 centimeters, to better insulate them in the snow. This fur also covers their large paws, which function almost like snowshoes, to make it easier for them to walk and stalk their prey in the snow. Did you know that penguins have knees? They're hidden by their feathers and skin. Koala bears come from Australia and have fingerprints. They are so much like humans that even experts might get confused if they saw them under a microscope. Did you know that deer have really strong teeth at the front of their mouths but none at the back? Instead, they have a hard palate to help them grind their food. Arctic foxes have furry feet. This not only keeps them warm in the freezing Arctic temperatures, but also helps them walk quietly on the ice. Did you know that Shetland ponies sometimes have winter coats that make them extra fluffy during colder weather? This special coat keeps them warm and snug when it's snowing outside. When summer comes, they shed their fluffy coats for a sleeker, cooler one to enjoy the sun. Cheetahs can't roar. Instead, they make purring sounds similar to cats. Hummingbirds can fly backwards. They have super speedy wings that beat up to 80 times per second, making them the only birds that can do this neat trick. Pandas might look like big cuddly bears, but did you know they're good climbers and swimmers? They can also do somersaults. Peacocks can shake their tail feathers to make a rattling noise to impress the ladies. It's like their way of saying, look at me, I'm handsome. Did you know that the daddy seahorse is the one that carries and gives birth to the babies, not the mummy? Polar bears have clear, not white fur. Their fur only looks white because it reflects light, helping them blend into their snowy surroundings. Elephants can talk to each other using their feet. They can feel vibrations in the ground from other elephants stomping their messages. Dolphins have their own way of talking. They use clicks and whistles and even have their own names called signature whistles. When they meet a friend, they might just call out that dolphin's special whistle. Foxes have whiskers on their legs and face that help them navigate. It's like having an extra set of hands that feel their way around. Beavers have see-through eyelids, so when they dive underwater, they can close their eyes and still see where they're going, like built-in goggles. A blue whale's heart is as big as a car. Imagine that. They need a heart so big to pump blood through their gigantic bodies. Gorillas have unique nose prints, just like human fingerprints. No two gorillas have the same nose print. Flamingos are born grey, not pink. They turn pink because of the shrimp and algae they eat. It's like nature's way of dyeing their feathers.
When a hippopotamus sweats, it is red and acts as a sunscreen. Giraffes have the same number of neck vertebrae as humans. Just seven. Their neck bones are just much, much longer. Ostriches have the biggest eyes among all land animals. Each of their eyes is bigger than its brain. Bears have a fantastic sense of smell, even better than dogs. They can smell food from miles away. Octopuses have three hearts. Two pump blood to the gills and one pumps it to the rest of the body. Rabbits have almost 360 degree vision. This means they can see almost everything around them without moving their heads. Lions are known as the king of the jungle, but they don't live in jungles. They actually live in grasslands and plains. No two zebras have the same stripes, just like no two humans have the same fingerprints. Their stripe patterns are unique to each individual. Leopards can carry prey up a tree that's heavier than themselves. They are like the strong weightlifters of the animal kingdom. Owls can't move their eyes, so they turn their heads almost 270 degrees around. Imagine being able to look behind you without moving your body. Did you enjoy that? Now it's your turn to tell some stories using your book of Millie's Wild Animals. Choose someone to tell your stories to. It might be your mum or dad or maybe your grandma or granddad. Can you remember some of the unusual facts? Or do you want to just make up a story for each animal? For example, on the penguins page, you might want to call one of the penguins Polly and talk about how she is learning to fish. Or maybe the snow leopard is called Sally and she is searching for her cubs who have wandered off playing in the snow. Whatever you do, have fun. Bye. For now.